Hey guys, today we're going to be trying food from the land with the largest castle. Welcome back to my channel guys. It's another unboxing video and I try video. This is going to be from Yunbox uh, Universal. And this is really a company that I've been using for a while um pretty good company they they give you a lot of snacks from one country the previous video were different countries this one is going to be now one country um by what they say the land with the largest castle all i get is that more than likely is going to be some type of uh, european country but we'll have to see uh let's open the box and see what we're trying today Poland. Wow, I didn't know Poland had the largest castle. That's uh, that's okay. That's different. So there you go. Today we'll be trying Polish food or snacks. So that's pretty awesome. It's exciting. Before I continue though, a few things. If you have not done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, guys, I am trying to reach 3,000. We're almost there. We're about 50 something away from reaching my go. Um, if you guys like this series, uh, make sure you let me know through the comments, through the likes, through uh, just, you know, making a big fuzz about the video. I know these uh, this series is not the one that gets the most views, but at least in the small community that I have, I think it is one of the um, more loved series. So I will continue doing I Try videos until people start not watching them. So if you like them, make sure you comment, like, and share, and that just shows me that I need to make more of these videos. Uh, okay, let's let's try some Polish foods. Um, these box always comes with uh, kind of a, a manual for you guys to follow. If you've watched my videos, you probably know how all this goes. Uh, there's some snapshots, some video, some information about Poland there. Um, there's some trivia that I probably don't know, so I'm not even, even gonna try. And then you get all this information for the snacks. So I will try to follow the order here on the list so I don't get lost. Um, so we'll start with the Monster Munch original, um, which is right, right here. Monster Munch uh, says, fun fact, every year the average pole consumes over 250 pounds of potatoes. Dang. They love potatoes. And, and Poland's not that big. Uh, but that's more than the weight of a baby elephant. So how exactly are all these taters eaten? Uh, well, there's pe pierogi, potato stuffed dumplings, plaki, something, I'm not going to bunch of their language, potato pancakes, mashed potato dumplings, and uh, plum stuffed potato balls. Uh, there's a bunch of words that I couldn't pronounce, so I just skipped them. Uh, but as far as snacks... Monster Munch is the one that stands out. So, okay. These, I guess, are potato-based. Um, it doesn't show me a lot of information. Actually, none information in English. So, I'm just going to go for it and try them. I guess these are just potato chips, right? Could be wrong. They're kind of cute. I mean, they have that little ghost shape and eyes and mouth. Um, they're not potato chips. I don't know what they are. <laughs> um, gosh. What is that flavor? Okay. Um, I don't know what to compare it to in U.S. terms. So obviously, uh, a lot of people that are watching my videos are from the U.S. Not everyone is. I know um, a lot of my other followers are around the world. But I would say it tastes like a stale Captain Crunch, maybe, uh, with none of the sugar, just the saltiness of it. Um, personally, I didn't like it. Um, the one in salt, their, their salted potato snack, but that ooh, that's my opinion. Um, it was just like a soft chip but not really a chip because chips are hard. So uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, the next one is Tago de Lis Meringues. 
which are cookies with creamy nut filling and dark chocolate drizzle. Um, name a cookie that's lighter of crispier than Meninges. Trick question. You can't. Polish Meninges are among the most delicate cookies in the world, made with only whipped egg whites and sugar. But despite their simple ingredients, these sweets are far from easy to make. The box is beautiful and very presentable. Um, definitely, definitely something that I think my wife would love. The question is, would I love it? <laughs> Not the biggest sweet guy. I am fat because I love carbs, not because I like sweets. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I, they, may, they make them sound like they're really good. So let's just check them out. Oh, they're they're in. They're very presentable with their packaging. Um, that could be one or two things either the cookie is not that good and they put all the effort in the packaging or the cookie is really good that they had to put a lot of effort in the packaging <laughs> so we'll see um here we go I don't know what to think about it. I think it's good. It's weird how it's just, it's it's big. Well, not, it's not big, but it's thick, and then it gets real, real, real soft, real fast in your mouth. But there is still that, there's still that crunch, that crispiness uh, from the outside, which is kind of like a wafer chocolate. But then it all squishes down in your mouth, and it's so... spongy light in your mouth it's actually pretty good i i like it that's a that's a win that's definitely a win um never heard of this meringue i'm pretty sure um that's not how you pronounce it i'm just using my hispanic accent for it okay let's move on because it's already quite a bit of time ready for just a few snacks Gotta clean my palate. Uh, Besky, Besky Ski Paluski. Can't pronounce that. Sorry, guys. Pretzel sticks with poppy seeds. Okay. Um, just as you might associate poppy seeds with bagels, the same is true for Polish poppy seed coated bread rings called uh, something like that. Can't pronounce it. Have been a local sensation since the 1300s. Dang. Um, so I guess these are kind of a creation out of them. Poppy seeds on a pretzel. Yeah, that's trippy. Um, here's the package, and I, I didn't show the package to you guys, but... Uh, Hopefully that can focus a little bit on the pretzel, but it, it, it probably won't. Um, mm, well, it didn't focus, but you guys can kind of see the the blackness there of, of the pretzel. Uh, those are the seeds, and it, it's kind of trippy, to be honest. It doesn't taste bad, per se. But it's not a good taste. Yeah, it's not a good taste for me. Um, it's trippy because you 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 expect you want the saltiness of the pretzel, and it's not there. So uh, I'm gonna put that aside. So far, one out of three has been good. The rest, not that much. Um, next one is gonna be the Weedle Pizzi Mexico dark chocolate covered vanilla marshmallow which are these um i'm butchering their names guys because i don't know how to pronounce them um i'll just have one or a lot because these are delicious mmm they're really good 
It's weird. Usually the salty snacks are the ones that I like the most. And the sweets are always like in between. And this time around, I'm liking the sweets a lot better. Um, this is really good. It's just chocolate and marshmallow, right? 19, 1851, Carl Ernst Weddle founded a chocolate company which passed down to his grandson, Jan Weddle, during World War II when Nazis seized control of war was food supplies in schools. Jan produced food for hungry citizens, turned his factory into an underground teaching hub. He even implemented world policies. Wow, so this is this has all these this history of World War II. That, that's good. That's very delicious. Um, props to them. Okay. Uh -huh. Dr. Gerald Apricot Mini Cake. Now, mini cakes have always been probably in the top foods of these boxes, at least for me. Um, so I am hoping this one is also a, a winner. So uh, packaging looked like this. And the cake looks like that. So... Let's just try it. It's good. You can't go wrong there. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong there. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know what to compare it to in the U.S. It's one of those tastes that... You know the ingredients, is, it's bread with apricot, but there's not really much of that here in the U.S. The U.S. is not really big when it comes to, like, sweet breads. Our most popular is going to be donuts, and that's about it. We don't have a lot of sweet breads that we typically buy to eat with our coffee. And if, if we do have others, they're typically from other countries, uh, like the croissants and, and, and stuff like that. Um, so... When you get stuff like this, it's not really much I can compare it to because the U.S. doesn't have that many things to compare it to. So, uh, the Yum Bag has candies in here. And, unfortunately, I mean, I'm going to open it, see what they have inside. But, these are just hard to taste sometimes. I'll see if I can try at least one or two. But, they have... They, they promised two different kinds of candies. Um, the Croca Melexna, Melexna. Um, this is Cream Fudge. Most be this is the most beloved candy. Our uh, Croca or Cream Fudge is the most popular candy in public. Sorry, in Poland, the best things are sometimes the simplest. Made using three ingredients, cream butter and sugar. That sounds good, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And then this other one is very hard to pronounce. Um, I hate that the camera only focuses on my face and never on the candy. But, oh well. There it goes. Wokshik, Wokshik, I, I can't pronounce that. Uh, chocolate candies with strawberry and black currant fillings. If you love berries, you'll love living in Poland. Fresh strawberries are sold uh, by the Kokobiak, which is a bulk basket that's five times larger than the strawberry containers in the U.S. market. Wow. Okay, let's try these. I'm going to try this one first, uh, the berry one, and see how it is. Hopefully, they're not too hard. Um, they're not hard candies. That's good. Ah, oh, been so sweet. <laughs> ah, it's very sweet. Wow, that's good. It's not something that I probably would eat if I got a candy bag and that came in it. I'd probably skip it because of how sweet it is. 
But it's good. It has the chocolate flavor. It's good. The, the strawberry is good. Uh, I guess there's two flavors. Um, I was looking at the at the picture here. Yeah, there's two flavors. Uh, so I didn't get the strawberry one, actually. I got the uh, black currant filling. So it could be that I'm not used to black currant, whatever that is. So we'll see. This uh, just looks like, uh, um, what are those called? Caramel, caramel, whatever, candy from here. This is supposed to be the most beloved candy from Poland. Uh, okay, well, we'll see. Yeah, very similar to the ones we have here in the U.S., I don't know what they're called, but these have a different, slightly different flavor from the U.S. candies. But still, very good. Um, I had to rank all these. It's kind of hard. Um, I would say the pretzels probably would come in last. Uh, very close to to the potato smiley ghost faces. Um, and then in first and second place, I would probably put this um, this chocolate uh, tied for first place with uh, probably this one. Um, I did like the cake. It was really good. But I've had a lot of stuff like that, where, whereas with these, they were unique to the country. So, overall, great snacks. Um, didn't think I was going to try Polish snacks today. To be honest, I was thinking more like England or um, Netherlands or something. I wasn't really expecting uh, t it to be from Poland. Um so anyways, that's nice. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe. Let me know what other snacks I should be trying. I know some of you guys want to send me stuff. Uh, please DM me on uh, Discord, on Twitter. Send me information of what you guys want me to try. And if you want to send me stuff, I can send you my address. Um, if you guys uh, are looking for a good community, consider my Discord and uh, join the family. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, and like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.